What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sanchez 405. We're coming at you on the Warpath. It's Warpath Wednesday. A very abbreviated Warpath Wednesday, to say the least, because y'all know what's coming up tomorrow night from Nashville, Nash Vegas. Um, during the hockey time, they call it Smashville. Um, NFL draft is coming up, and, and it's one thing that's constant. Nobody knows what in the hell our Washington Redskins are going to do. They've talked about drafting Dwayne Haskins, who's been mentored by Sean Springs and went to high school with Dan Snyder's little boy and Daniel Jones. But they're afraid Daniel Jones won't sell tickets. I didn't told y'all this before. I'd rather win games than sell tickets because when you win games, the tickets will sell themselves. You know what? That's right. But don't really care. I think the Redskins are going to go uh, with a quarterback. A lot of people I've heard, um, a lot of folks say, need edge rusher. I think we can find the edge rusher. It's a deep draft. I think we can find those guys later on. Wide receiver. They, I mean, there's so many holes in this team that you could make an inappropriate comment about it. That's, that's how many holes this team has. But... You know, we'll see. Uh, it'll be me and Amir and JD from Redskins. Rand will come on. And, you know, anybody else out there that wants to come on, join us for a little bit. Give us what you think when the Redskins pick at 15. If they pick at 15, another thing is they could trade into the top five to get either Haskins or Jones or Drew Locke or Sammy Baugh or Joe Theismann or um, Doug Williams might even come back and play. But, you know, I, I really don't know. Don't claim to know. Um, that's the fun of the draft. That's actually the annoyance of the draft. Uh, it is, it's overhyped. I hate the draft, and I love it all in the same thing because it's just, it, it can be too much. And it's too much build up to this um, for somebody who could potentially be a bust. Uh, hopefully, the Redskins strike gold and they find their quarterback of the future here. And somewhere that Case Keenum can come and tutel, uh, tutel them to, or tutor, not tutel. Tutel? No, tutor. Tutor, right? Yeah. Um, I've got somebody in the car with me. I've got what y'all call Mrs. Sanchez with me. She she don't she doesn't want to be on the camera, but she's giggling back there. So I'm not talking to myself. I'm not crazy. But. Yeah, so somebody, Case Keenum, can tutor because God knows, I know how many people out there in Redskins world love Colt McCoy. And J.D. said it, and I said it. We said it last week that we think we saw the ceiling on Colt McCoy last year. No, not last year, 2014. So, you know, and they're blaming the Redskins. This is third surgery. I don't even know he'll be ready for the regular, uh, for preseason way the injury is going. They did sign a quarterback that they picked up from the uh, AAF. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. I, I think that these signs, they're pointing to the Redskins picking up a quarterback. I think they'll get a wide receiver. I think they'll get somebody to try to be an edge rusher. Uh, you know, they said Ryan Anderson, he's going to have first swings at that. Whether you like Ryan Anderson, whether you think he's a glorified fullback, can't do it. I think that's who we're going to see at first. The only thing I really care about at this point in time is can he stay healthy? Because that's the Redskins' biggest problem. But yeah, come out. Join us tomorrow night about 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. I think it's 3 o'clock out there where everybody is on California, West Coast, Oregon, all those good places. So come out and join us. We're going to have a good time on live stream. And we'll break down those picks at the Redskins pick at 1, at the pick at 5, 15, 32. We'll be there for it. And we'll let you know what we think because it's exciting. Somebody's going to come and hopefully change the Redskins for the better. And maybe we can focus on something positive instead of focusing on something negative. And then this is another thing I can get to before I let y'all go. I am getting sick and tired of Diana Rossini and 1067 The Fan. Because all they do is feed us crap and more crap. I think that these two entities, I'll call it, are the biggest instigators in the world. Whether 
Diana was having relations with Scott McLuhan. That was a rumor back in 2016. Um, and 106.7 fan has a problem with state media, a.k.a. Redskins Nation. Um, Eric Bickle had something about uh, Dan Snyder's overruling uh, Jay Gruden, who's never been on the football field. Dan Snyder, he hasn't been. I, I don't think Dan's that stupid, but, you know, we never know. Um... I'm getting sick and tired of it. It's getting boring. It's getting annoying. So, we'll see who's right. We'll see who's wrong. Either way, somebody should just go and go the way of the dodo and just go away, y'all. But tell me what you think. Are you excited? Who the risk can, Who should they draft? Because nobody, we can't come together. It's like Rodney King says, can't we all just get along? That's one thing we can't do. We can't get along with picking this draft pick. But... It's Warpath Wednesday, as we always say on on Warpath Wednesday. I love you guys. Tell me what you think in the comments. Like, share this video. Tell Mama, Nana, Nana all of them to come and join us tomorrow night, and we'll have a good old time. And I'm Sanchez405, and like we always say here, love, peace, and hail. And we'll be talking to you real soon. I'm out.